these guys going today this is ace designs 107 today we are going to be doing a 3d text tutorial in photoshop so let's just get straight into the tutorial and make a new document so we're going to make the document 1920 by 1080p by going to file new and also i forgot to add um if you can just drop a like on this video um yeah it just shows you support for the video and it encourages me to make awesome tutorials like this you can edit the the color on these and I'll show you how to do all that and yeah it's just really nice effect so I'm gonna press ctrl n and the name of the document is going to be um let's do 3d text tutorial all right oh shit I'm gonna make this 1920 1920 by 1080p all right sweet so now we have our document up um you want to make 3d text so I have sample 3D text, um, if you want to use that, the download link in the description will be in below. I'm going to add the PSD, so basically when you download the file, you can open it up like this, open that up, and there you have it, and just move it across there to the um, new page. Or what you can do is make your own in Cinema 4D, and I'll teach you how to do that at the end of the video. So if you do want to know how to make your own unique um, 3D text, make sure to go look at the end of the video. But for now, I'm just going to use this PSD file that will be in the download description below and just drag it and drop it onto this file. It will convert it automatically to a smart object and we're going to control T this and make the size a little bit bigger. That's what she said. All right, we're going to um, center this to the middle of the document by pressing control A the second and fifth icon and we have to make the background color black to do that um, you can either press ctrl i with your foreground and background color set to black and white oh sorry guys for that all right sorry guys I just had to do something there so um we just have to change the color which is pretty simple by pressing ctrl i with the black and black and foreground color black and white all right so next what we have to do is we're gonna make this a backup um object so we're gonna double click this and do backup and then we're gonna control j that and name this 3d text if it'll let us and we want to convert this to a normal layer so we're gonna press control j and no, we're gonna just press a new layer and then merge those two together by pre selecting them and press Control E. And what that does is it makes it a normal layer. So there we have it as a 3D text layer. Right, now what we have to do is while the 3D text layer is selected, we are going to grab the magic wand tool, set the tolerance to zero and set anti alias and conjuous ticked on make sure those ticked on make sure that your 3d text layer is selected is not a smart object and then just select the faces off it by shift clicking on the faces to select them all at once and then we have to fill this in with black so either get the paint bucket tool and fill it in at once or what you can do is just press ctrl i and they'll automatically fill it in press ctrl d and bam we have that now we want to control J this again. So we're going to press control J and we're going to rename this um, 3D text blur. All right, sweet. Now we are going to um, drop it behind the te 3D text layer. And now we're going to create two new layers and they are going to be um, dropped into separate groups. So we're going to press Control shift n and just give me a sec guys actually yeah just press the new layer button and then press two new layer buttons and then drop these both into separate groups so you're going to press Control j while one layer is selected and also Control j when the other layer is selected and the first group is going to be called let's see color and the second group is going to be called effect um, make sure that the group layer, what it's called, style is going to be select to 
color dodge and the actual layer is going to be on normal and rename this to clouds fill lettuce all right now we are going to actually generate clouds obviously so we're going to go to filter uh just wait where is it render clouds all right that's going to render clouds to the text and you can flick through the different types of clouds by pressing Control i and it will redo it which i like that one and now we are going to change the levels of the clouds by pressing Control l while that layer is selected and we are just going to change it to these like you can mess around but i like to have these values 100 i wrote these down so that i'm just copying these down two four five and the other layer is 1.73 all right snazzy like that all right now the next one we are going to select this layer and what we are going to do for this all right so it's time to add some color to this um, document by making three new layers in this group and select the first layer and we're going to get a big brush and we're going to make this because it's 1920 i'm going to make it 1500 um, if you're on a 720, make it around 1,000. And we're going to change it to a nice pink like this. All right, sweet. And now we are just going to click like that, and bam, we have that. And then go to your next layer and make the color a bit darker, but a bit pinker like, like that. All right, sweet. Like, bam, like that. And then get a new color, make it kind of pinkish reddish and then go to the third layer and click there. So what you have now is you have a plain splob on each of the colors and it's actually been marked to the clouds. All right, sweet. So it's next on to the next step. So we are going to change all these to soft light by shift clicking all of them at the same time and change it to um, soft light or you can just change the layers individually to soft light. All right, so just make sure that the un backup layer is unchecked obviously because you don't really need it, but it is there for a backup. Alright, so now we are going to go to our 3D text um, blur layer. I'm going to go to filter, blur, glashian blur. Um, and we're going to make the radius, I think, 11 from the top of my head. No, 13. God. <laughs> um, you can reapply the effect by pressing Control F and it will reapply that. But I like it like that. All right, now we are going to create a duplicate layer of the 3D text and we're going to rename it 3D text blur 2. And we're going to make a blur on that down to like 3. Just wait, guys. Glashian blur, give me a sec. All right, like 7. You can really mess around with it, but you want something like a bit like that make it five sweet we've got something like this going on now and go to your effects here in part of the clouds layer and make a new layer and now we're just going to make it specs specs and now we have to um, draw like specs on it to make it look like this starry thing so if you want to brushes, you need to have this brush set to do what the exact same brush as what I'm going to do. The download link in the description below will be for this brush set and the other brush set that we'll use later in the tutorial. So make sure you get those or you can just simply use your own. And what we are going to do is just basically draw something on it. So um, just pick like a brush set like that or something like Just wait guys like that and basically what you have to do is you just have to go around and paint you know brushes paint white spots on them so I'm gonna do like this and I could fast through this but you know it doesn't really take that long so and just really change the text around with spots remember just kind of picture it in your head how you want your text to curl out and what I like to do is I like to make the feature point of the text at the back because that's where it really glows out because my text is facing towards this area and you know I want I want something like that so all 
Right, now this is looking uh, not too bad. Alright, sweet. So now we have something like this. And it's really nice. So now what we have to do is... Just wait, guys. I have to go. Alright, so now we're going to use our second brush set, which is the Romanian Abstract one. And you just pick a brush that you would like to use as your main brush. So I'm going to use either this one or the next one. And I'm just going to make a new layer above the specs layer and rename this to... See if you'll let me rename this. Come on, let me rename ya. Abs abstract. If I can spell it. Whew. Oh no, I didn't spell it. Who, who cares? Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to just... Um, basically, I'm going to make this probably 800 or 850. I'm just gonna click around here like that. I don't really like that brush, so I'm gonna change brushes like that. And basically, you don't wanna do it too much, but you can go wild. It just depends really what you're trying to look look for, and that's that's a nice little layering that I've done there. And I've really capitalized the P and the E, obviously, with the high contrast between them. But that's really it. Now we have to go on to the next step, which is... Next step is to make um, this a little bit nicer. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a layer between the two groups. And we're going to name this gradient. Reason for that is, obviously, we're going to be making a gradient. But before we do that, we want to pop our rulers by pressing Control r And snap those to the middle. And snap the top one to the middle also. Alright, sweet. Now we're going to grab our gradient tool, which is under the paint bucket tool. And we're going to make it a white gradient to a transparent. And then we're going to go to the middle one and drag it all the way to the middle. And then we're going to do the same, but we're going to drag this to the letter E, for the, to the first letter E. This one to the first letter S. And then this one all the way to the middle. And then what we have to do is we're going to change the blending mode of this layer and also the opacity. So we're going to change the blending mode to here and we're going to make the opacity 60%. And I'm not really, it doesn't really make a dramatic difference, but it does make a slight one. But it's still nice to add that gradient, even though it probably doesn't even make much difference at all for you. Actually, we're going to make it the opacity 80. Let's see. All right, sweet. And then bam, you have that little highlight coming on and it's really, really soft and light, but not, not much big deal. All right, so the next step, what we have to do is we're going to, we're going to have to change these colors. So I'm going to change um, foreground color to black, which is just yours, and the uh, background color to uh, pinkish. So this is the color code that you're going to be using, FF00FC, all right, press OK. And actually, just wait, change that like down to there, like that. Sweet. Now we are just going to make the pink the foreground color and the back the background color by clicking that arrow on the top. And we are going to go to the text blur to layer and we're going to make a new layer and we're going to rename this to purple clouds. And make sure you do render your clouds in purple because it's going to render it whatever your background foreground color is. So I'm going to go to filter, render, clouds, and then bam, we have something like this. But obviously, it doesn't look nice, and it's just covering up everything. So we're going to make a layer mask, and we are going to grab a brush, and grab a brush size, something like this. Something probably 400 pixels. And we're just going to make sure we're under our layer. that bam and we have something really nice going on there and what that does is it just does that so now we're going to go back to our clouds and change the levels up a bit so the levels are these are the numbers that i use 23 0 0.78 and 269 <laughs> 69 get it boys 
Alright, so obviously our brushes on the top is very, you know, outside and it doesn't look like it's coming out of the text and it just looks like it's being placed there randomly. So guys, don't worry, we will be adding a... We'll be taking those away with lay mask. But before we do that, we're going to make a brush size of 1000. Make it soft and make sure that your foreground color, background and foreground color is white. And we're just going to make it a white, big, soft brush there. All right. Now we are going to go here and change your opacity down to 83% or 84%. Doesn't really matter. And we are going to... Actually, I don't like this brush, so I'm just going to change the brush opacity down to like 70 something I, it's still too low still too low. it's because i have a cloud there fuck all right that's a nice little 35 is quite nice especially if you have a cloud there it's just going to pop out really heavily but it doesn't matter i'm going to change this back down to 83 percent 84 percent that's sweet Alright, now go back to our abstract and we're going to get rid of these um, brushes because they don't look normal by applying a layer mask and we are just going to get rid of those by like making a smaller brush and getting real accurate and taking these brushes away and making it look like it actually is coming out of the text. So we're going to just apply this like that. And you can obviously apply some more um, brushes if you don't want, to, if you want to add some. So just go back to the normal layer and just click on it like that. All right, obviously the layer mask is taking the stuff away now, but that's fine, guys. That's this is just an example. Obviously, you want to refine it more to your liking. And that's just like the really basics of the tutorial, but obviously, we're going to make a bit more sexier in your liking and I want to teach you some things that I have done to get the um, effect how I like it the most. Alright so now the specs is fine but if you did your specs and it's it's coming out too aggressive what you can do is you can apply a layer marks to your specs get your brush tool and really just get a big soft brush or a small soft brush but you know the girls like it big anyway and you know you can layer mask those specs away however you want it but I actually like my specs how they are it looks makes it look a bit more natural in this tutorial and for that reason I'm just gonna leave it like that all right so the next um thing we are going to do is we are going to add a little glow on the bottom of the text this is really nice to make that nice effect that it's actually coming out of the clouds. So I'm going to make it, rename it to glow, and we're going to grab a big brush, something like 500, make it um, the opacity, make sure it's on 100. And we're just going to like that. Bam. All right, sweet. Now we're going to just manipulate this with Control T and make it like this. Make it a bit thicker, make it a bit longer. You know, making it towards the girl's liking. <laughs> you can always control J it and merge it back together. Just rename it back to glow. And that's what you've really... Whoa, shit. Fuck, I changed the color mode to it. Wrong. Oh my god! Are you joking? Wow, I changed the color mode! Jesus Christ! I changed it down to like white or something. God dang it. Well, I might as well just show you how to finish off this. So we are just gonna name it back to glow and just make sure it's positioned correctly. And we are going to change it down to under the color layer. And what that does is it applies that color dodge that's on the effects. And, you know, it's here and it makes it look like it's glowing out. And especially if you have some layers that are like... If you have some words of the text that are like really, really strong, such as the P on this, 
it looks like the text is actually coming out and now we're just going to change the opacity down to like that and we're going to create a layer mask on it and we can layer mask some things off so we can like zoom in make it look a bit more natural all right there and that is our text oh just wait someone's calling me i'll be back guys all right sorry for that um yes yeah, so you know you can change and manipulate the glow with the brush and you know make it a bit more natural but besides that guys hey guys this is how you make your 3d text get cinema 40 up and go to MoGraph mo text um we're going to change the object to bold and change whatever you want so i can make this tutorial make the depth 50. you want a depth pretty deep 50 or 60 it's refined and make it bold make sure and you can zoom out change your things on it and you can do a pre-render and that's your text like that um and that's pretty simple not too hard i forgot how to apply the um color on the sides sorry for that guys but that is how you make the um text and you don't really need to change red in senders just do it like that guys and then import it into photoshop as a png or anything like that Whoops, sorry. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is how you make this cool text effect. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Um, thanks for all the um, nice comments. Really sh show your support in the comment section below. Tell me how I can improve. And if you want any type of tutorial, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, yeah, peace, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah.